Okay, so first of all, this is part two of how to make a map in Python using base map. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to plot latitude and longitude coordinates on a map. Now you can think of a base map like a scatter plot with the x axis going along the bottom and the y axis going up the side. So the x-axis is the longitude coordinates and the y-axis is the latitude coordinates. Usually in a scatter plot, we write the x value first and then the y value, which means in base map, we write the longitude first and then the latitude. This is the opposite way round to how latitude and longitude is usually written. So you might have to swap it round. Also, it's important to remember that south and west are both negative numbers. So the first thing I'm going to do is plot one data point on this map. And I'm going to do this by typing m dot scatter open brackets. Then the first number is going to be the longitude coordinate and it's going to be minus 135. And then the next number is going to be the latitude coordinate and it's going to be 75. Then after this, I need to type lat long equals true. And this is basically telling it to treat these numbers as if they were latitude and longitude coordinates. Then I'm going to run that. And you can see we have this little blue dot here. Now I can change the way this looks. For example, I can increase the size by typing S equals 5,000. And then if I run that, it makes it a lot bigger. I can change the color by typing C equals and then red. And it changes to red. I can change the shape by typing marker equals then in quotation marks, the little hat symbol and then run and this changes it to a triangle if i search for map plot lib markers the first thing that comes up is a table with all of the possible markers and the symbols that they produce i can also change the alpha on this which is like the transparency so zero would be completely invisible and then one is completely opaque and is the default value so if i type 0 0.5 that's like 50 percent transparency and you can see it has now gone slightly see-through now i'm going to change that back to one i can also give it an edge color so if i put in quotation marks k this will change it to black so you can see there is now a black line going around the edge i can make this line thicker by typing line width equals 10 and then running that and now you can see there's a really thick black line now i'm going to change that back to one then I will copy and paste this whole line using control C and control V just to demonstrate another point. I will change this to 60 and this to blue. Then when I run this, you can see we now have a red triangle with a blue triangle plotted over the top of it. However, if I change this to Z order equals two, and this to Z order equals one, and then run this, the red triangle is now plotted over the top of the blue triangle. You can think of the Z order kind of like the Z axis, if it were a 3D plot. It basically controls how things are stacked up on top of each other. So Z order one is the lowest level and then Z order two goes on top of that. 
Now I'm assuming you don't want to plot each of your data points individually, so I am now going to show you how to plot multiple points all at once. I am going to comment out this line and then add in here sites underscore lat underscore y equals and then in square brackets I am going to copy and paste some latitude coordinates. Then I am going to type sites underscore long underscore x equals and then in square brackets I am going to copy these numbers. Then instead of having the longitude coordinate here, I'm going to change this to sites underscore long underscore x. And I'm going to change the latitude coordinate to sites underscore lat underscore y. So what this is going to do now is plot six different data points. The first one will be at six degrees latitude and 102 degrees longitude. Then the second one will be at minus 41 degrees latitude and 145 degrees longitude. And the other numbers will be plotted in the same way. So if I run this, you can see I now have multiple triangles of the map. Now, I don't have to have all of these colors be red. I can make the colors different by writing colors equal and then in square brackets, copy and paste in these colors. Then I can change C equals to C equals colors. Then when I run this, you can see my triangles are now all different colors. And this method will also work if you want to vary the size of your data points or their shape or their alpha. Now, another method for plotting multiple data points is to import values from an Excel spreadsheet. So I have an Excel spreadsheet here with the latitude and longitude coordinates and I am going to use this in my Python script. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is import another package, which is called import pandas as pd. Then I need to get my Python script to find the Excel spreadsheet I want it to look at. So I'm going to type df, which stands for data frame, equals pd dot read underscore excel open brackets then r for read then a quotation symbol and then i need the first thing i need is the file directory where my excel spreadsheet is stored so that is in this folder here and i'm going to click on the bar and then copy this to copy the file directory then I am going to use control V to paste this in. Now the next thing I need is the name of the Excel spreadsheet. So I'm going to do backslash and then the name of the sheet is lat and long. So I'm going to type this in lat and long. Then I need to tell it what sort of file it is. So as it is an Excel spreadsheet, it's going to be dot xlsx then i need a close quotation symbol and a comma and then in a new set of quotation marks i need to tell it the name of the sheet i want it to look at so this spreadsheet only has one sheet and it's called sheet one so i'm going to type sheet one in here and now i have told it where to look for this information now the next thing I need to do is change these values down here. So instead of being numbers, they'll draw their data from the spreadsheet. So I'm going to type DF, which still stands for data frame, 
then square brackets, then quotation marks, then inside the quotation marks, I'm going to put the header of one of my columns. So I'm going to call this latitude. Then after this, I need to put dot to list and then open and close brackets. This is basically telling it to take all of the numbers in this column and convert them into a Python list. I need to do almost exactly the same thing with the longitude coordinates, but this is going to be D, F, longitude, then dot to list. Now, as these names here are still the same as these names here, I don't need to change anything else. For the record, you can call this whatever you want, so long as it matches this here. I am, however, going to change the size of the markers to make them a little bit smaller and change them all to circles because I'm going to have a much larger number of data points now, so I need them to be smaller and easier to see. Now, when I run this, you can see I now have lots of data points on the map. You can also see as I have only six different colors, but I am now plotting more than six data points, it is just cycling through all of the colors over and over again. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to plot latitude and longitude coordinates in a base map, and that is everything.